how far in advance do you plan for your group cruises? Do you recommend Carnival picking your room? I've got an early check-in. Are the restaurants open prior to sail away? Which is your favorite deck to stay on a Carnival cruise? Is parking free? What is your favorite destination? May have to add an S on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Can I buy one internet package and use it on other devices or share it with my kids? I am cruising with 33 <laughs> family members. What? are some last minute tips you have for us. 33 family members pack some Excedrin migraine. <laughs> That's a lot of family. <laughs> what? What's up? Life with us TV, it's your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, it's time to get into the questions, man. It is time to get into the questions. All right, I'm going on a cruise for the first time on Carnival Conquest in April. Is there anything that I should know ahead of time? I don't think it's anything that you should know ahead of time other than the things that we've already taught on the channel. You know, how to pack, be well prepared, make sure that you prepare for seasickness. And I'm not saying that you will, but it's better to be prepared, don't need it, than to need it and don't have it. Right. That's another thing. I always tell first timers, make sure you have a lanyard. They sometimes will give it away, but it's more convenient for you just to have your own so that you can tuck that away. Other than that, make sure that you are you have your documentation that you need. Right. That that you're checking in at your point so when carnival sends you an email tell you a it's time to check in select your arrival time all that other than that what? and one more thing what don't overthink it overthink it but not overthink it don't overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't overthink it because i do because i'm the planner oh uh, uh, i've got an early check-in are the restaurants open prior to sail away you would definitely have places to eat, eat. Yes. It, restaurants likely not but you would definitely have places to eat you yeah, look like guys is gonna be open blue iguana is gonna, gonna be, be open. open the buffet is going to be open right. yeah there's gonna yeah. be some nooks and crannies like places like that are open. Be open yeah so mm -hmm. you're gonna definitely have a uh, plenty of food to eat which is your favorite deck to stay on a carnival cruise blame this on shan from dre and shan tv that the Lido deck is now my favorite place <laughs> yeah. to stay before yeah. that i thought it was just overhyped but when you you really just want to come out your cabin, walk and get something to eat or drink, and your room is literally on the same deck. Game changer. Yeah. <laughs> Game changer. It is. So I say Lido for me, but I also tell people I like six and above. Is parking free? Never. <laughs> um, now there is some exceptions to that rule, like Charleston, if you are a vet and you have, you know, documentation of being a vet or whatever. And I think it's the handicap tag. They'll let you park for free. But for the yeah. most part, put that into your budget. If you ever heard my husband say, know the true cost of your cruise. Yes. It's stuff like that. Your hotels, what clothes you're going to buy. Yeah. All Accessories. Of that, yeah. And all all that of that stuff. is yeah. in your real cost. true cost of yeah. your trip. Yeah, most times people don't talk about that. Yeah, they don't talk yeah. about it, but you can easily it's a real spend, cost. You can easily spend another grand just in preparation. I am cruising with 33 <laughs> family members on the 23rd. What are some last minute tips you have for us? 33 family members pack some Excedrin migraine. <laughs> That's a lot of family. <laughs> Uh, but on a serious note, anything that you can think of that you think you may need. Yeah. Because once you get on board, not saying that they're not going to have it, but if they do have it, you're going to pay half. One thing I will say with a group of 33 members, I don't know how you are going to communicate, communicate on board, right. but you need to figure that out before you get on board. Whether yeah. or not everybody is going to buy the internet package and maybe y'all are doing WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, or if every person is going to buy the $5 chat feature for the duration of your cruise and y'all can chat that way, communication with the group is A1. Yeah. Because if you break communication, things can start to tank very quickly. Yeah. Tips for getting off the ship at the end of the cruise. My tip is, and it really depends on where you have sailed out of. Like when we do Norfolk, like we legit prepared ourselves <clears throat> to try to be the last people off the ship, just so that we're not gonna frustrate our purpose and undo all the fun we had right. on board because they've gotten like 95% better, but it's not perfect. If you're leaving from somewhere like Miami and stuff like that, 
when I say weld oil machine, weld oil machine, weld oil machine, you're not gonna have any problems. <laughs> right. But if you have a flight and you need to get out of there, take your own luggage off and walk that down and get off the ship with your own luggage. Waiting for your luggage could cause you to miss your flight. flight. Yeah. Don't book a flight before 12 noon and you should be okay. Well, how far in advance do you plan for your group cruises? In my brain, it's a year and a half, but I don't put anything out until like 12 months. Yeah, something, um, like something around that time frame because you put it out too early, people don't care. They feel like they have a lot of time. Right. So you kind of got to do it perfectly because it's a whole psychological thing going on when you yeah. put stuff out to people. Can't be too far away, can't be too close. You got to put them right there where they feel like, I can handle it. Yeah. Can you bring a fire stick on a cruise? You can bring it, but you, you can, ain't gonna plug it up. You can't plug it up. You can't <laughs> even. You can't even get behind them TVs. I don't. I don't brought my Apple TV up many times, try to get it plugged up. Even if you stick your hand around there, you can't even. Yeah. Get it. They legit have it sealed yeah. so that you can't get to the um. Carnival Sunrise this Saturday. What's up with the irons on the ship, bruh? <laughs> um, ain't nobody trying to burn the ship down, bruh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, grandma gonna be up there ironing her stuff, and next thing we know, we got a whole fire on deck six. Look, now. look. Look, what we found to be easier for us for the iron issue, I got tired of going to the station to get the iron. So I started paying for laundry service and it's been a game changer. So I can get my whole shirt and dress pants pressed. And my stuff. Yeah, for like 10 to $15. Why not? Uh, yeah, I don't think what? we paid over 15 Like, why not? I mean, I ain't got to go down there and wait. I ain't got to worry about how my stuff will be in the bag and not get wrinkled. And because you do that, you got to bring extra stuff. So that's the easiest way. What is your favorite destination? May have to add an S on that one. Yeah. <laughs> as far as leisure islands, Bimini Bahamas. Hands Bimini. down is my best. The second in line to leisure destinations is Half Moon Cape. That is a beautiful, beautiful Yeah, we went there on the subscriber group cruise uh, over the summer. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. And then other than that, I think... i say Ocho, Ocho Rios. Rios. Yeah, yes. Ocho Rios. Question from Brian. Is it true that unvaccinated cruisers can't get off the ship in Turks and Caicos? On top of my head, there are a few islands that will not let you off if you're not vaccinated. Off top of my head, I can't tell you that answer to that right now, but there, there are, are a few that are still not allowing it. And it changes like one month it'll be, and then they, the numbers will rise and they'll be like, oh no. <laughs> but I'm grateful that now the COVID restrictions to even go on vacation are pretty, you know, pretty relaxed. Pink Day just said, I know ships have casinos, but are there any crap tables? Yep. Yep, I've seen them on there. Yep. Yep. Instead of taking a whole 12 pack, can we just take a few cans of sodas on our carry-on? Yes, yes. Yes. 12 is the max, but you yep. can take one, six. You can mix and match them if you want to. Pro tip that just happened on a past cruise. I switched from taking the big 12 pack of sodas because what was happening was I might drink like two or three of them and they had to throw the rest of them away because I ain't fitting to try to bring them back in my bag. So I downgraded to the mini sodas and drunk them all. So if you a person you know you're not gonna drink all them sodas, do the minis. And then then the minis are easier to carry in your carry-on too. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. Legitimately confused on Pixel Studio versus the other ones for Pix. What's the difference? Okay, so Pixels mm -hmm. is usually referred to when you can digitally purchase your pictures directly from the app. The other one is more of your physical pictures where you have to go down, fight with everybody, skew me, them my yeah. pictures, skew me. <laughs> Pick them up, look at them. You know, you can still do that with pixels as well because they put so many watermarks over those pictures. Yeah, they Sometimes do. you can't see them, but that's basically the difference. So it's best to look at the picture packages. But if you <clears> really <throat> want that like glamour shot, y'all remember glamour shot at the time of my age, <laughs> that experience, you know, they are not gonna make you up, but they are gonna make your pictures pop. When we get on the ship, how do we know when our mustard drill is and where we would be? Thanks, you guys rock. Trust me, as soon as you get on, mm -hmm. they will tell you, and it's also going I'm to be on printed your, on your boarding, boarding pass. pass. So as soon as you get there, it legit, they're like, okay, find your muster station. Muster station A is here, muster station B is up there, the elevator. You can't not um, find it. Is the steakhouse worth the additional charge and how much is it? It's subjective. Yeah. If you ask me. I say you, you should try it. You At least should. once. Yes. I know this stuff off the top of my head, yeah, but I'm delusional yeah. now. I think it's either 50 or 59. 59, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. The first time we tried it, we was like, uh, I don't know why we did this. And then we did it the second time, we was like, oh my God, yeah. this is the bomb.